Do you want to understand what is causing your backache and if you need to visit your orthopedician for this backache or not? Backache is one of the most common symptoms in a clinical practice and 60 to 70 percent of the patients have had at least one episode of backache at least once in their lifetime. Now what are the four broad headers under which we define the backache for you to understand? The first header is acute or mechanical type of backache which is found in at least 90 percent of the back pain cases and the, as the name suggests it's an acute backache happens because of lifting heavy weight or due to wrong posture. Generally this is a self-limiting kind of backache which resolves within six weeks but if you look at it at symptomatic level what happens is it's an asymmetric pain you cannot localize it with a finger that this is the pain it will be diffuse and generally happens in the lower back and can extend up to knees it does not go below the knees now as i said it resolves within six weeks however 10 to 15 percent of the acute back cases do not resolve within six weeks and extend to a chronic backache however few of the chronic backache cases have a psychological element to it which is job dissatisfaction depression and anxiety now this was the first category 90 percent of the back pain cases are acute or mechanical the second category is destructive these kinds of back pain happen due to malignancy means cancer in the vertebral column or can happen due to infection in the vertebral column or the spinal cord or the fluid around it so it happens due to infection or cancer this is called as destructive backache the third category is generally inflammatory kind of backache basically these are the age related or weight related changes like spondyloarthritic changes wherein the vertebra gets inflamed and there is less space between the vertebral column the fourth are the others or the miscellaneous kind of category wherein you have the prolapsed disc you have spinal stenosis and you have severe injury category you need to understand that category or the category type 2 which is the destructive category type 3 which is the inflammatory and category type 4 which is miscellaneous generally should always and always be referred to an orthopedician immediately and may require an MRI with immediate effect to actually identify the cause of the backache but what actually are the red flag signs for these three categories wherein you can immediately assume that a visit to orthopedician is mandatory so the red flag signs are first of all if there is a chronic backache if your backache has moved from an acute phase to a chronic backache wherein six weeks have passed then this is the first case scenario or a first red flag sign the second red flag sign is that you have a backache as well as a pain in the legs and this pain in the leg resolves while you sit or on sitting down the third red flag sign is if you have a back pain and a leg pain which can be pinpointed by finger so it's a radiating kind of pain which you can pinpoint like a string it is going through from top to bottom this is again a red flag sign then the fourth is if you have sensation weakness means in some part of the skin below the back if you have feeling less less sensations if you're feeling less or you're feeling tingling you must refer to an orthopedician once then the fifth is there is muscle weakness within the lower part of your body then that's again a red flag sign and the sixth and the most important red flag sign is if there's an involuntary movement means your legs jo joints in the legs like the knee joint ankle joint or there is a reflex involuntary movement that is happening without your control so these are the six major red flag signs wherein you should immediately address to an orthopedician for your back pain so friends i hope this video was useful for you to understand what may be causing your backache and when do you actually need to refer to an orthopedician i have not covered it medically it's for you to understand as a non-medical person that what may be causing your backache and what you need to do about it 
So if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.